friends welcome to the series of panchatantra the story which we are going to listen today is right mind and wrong mind so now let's begin once upon a time there were two friends in a small village named dharma buddhi and papa buddhi one day the wicked of the two papa buddhi thought to himself that he was poor and lacked the knowledge to earn for himself He thought of taking Dharma Buddhi to another kingdom and use his skills to make money. He thought, if I can deprive him of all the earnings, I can have all the money for myself and live happily. After some time, he met Dharma Buddhi. My friend, we need to earn money to provide for ourselves when we grow old. Let us travel to some other kingdom to earn money. Besides, Unless we travel to far off kingdoms we will not have any stories to tell our grandchildren Dharma Buddhi agreed to his plan and took the blessing of his parents and teachers to travel to a distant kingdom On an auspicious day they began their journey The two of them made a lot of money due to Dharma Buddhi's skills and knowledge After some time pleased with their earnings they planned to return home On their way to home as they approached the village Papa Buddhi said to Dharma Buddhi friend it will be improper for us to carry so much money home as all our friends and relatives will start requesting us money besides there is danger of theft he said let us bury the money in the jungle where nobody will find it after taking only a nominal amount for our needs Whenever we need some money we can come back together and dig it out without doubting his intentions dharma buddhi agreed they buried most of the money beneath a tree and returned home with only a handful of money few days later papa buddhi wrong minded as he was went to the jungle alone in the dead of the night he uncovered all the money they had buried together took out all the money and closed the pit as it was before he returned back home with all the money and hid it after a few days pretending nothing has happened he went to meet dharma buddhi friend i have a large family and the money i had come with have been spent already let us go together to the place we have buried our money to fetch some more Dharma Buddhi agreed and together they went to the place they had buried their money and dug up the pit but they found the money was not there Papa Buddhi started beating his head and blamed Dharma Buddhi It is you no doubt nobody else knew where we have buried the money you have stolen all the money for yourself if you do not give me my half of the money i shall go and complain to the village elders taken aback dharma buddhi protested i have committed no such theft don't put the blame on me as i am a virtuous man and so they started quarreling and visited the village elders for justice the elders asked them to pledge before the fire god to find the truth papa buddhi suggested before pledging the fire god we can request the spirit of the tree to stand witness It was in front of a big tree that we had buried all the money and it may be able to reveal to us who the thief is. The judges agreed. We shall go to the jungle together and request the spirit of the tree to reveal the truth to us. If that fails, we will take pledge before the fire god. Papa Buddhi Papa Buddhi immediately went home to his father. I have stolen a huge amount of money from Dharma Buddhi and we have taken the matter to the village elders. Operation will save me and put the blame on Dharma Buddhi. Otherwise, I shall not only lose the money but face the risk of losing my life for stealing. His father said, "My son, tell me how I can help you so you don't have to part from the money." Papa Buddhi explained, There is a huge hollow inside the big tree where we had buried the money. 
you have to get inside the hollow before morning when all of us go to the jungle as request the spirit of the tree to reveal the truth you have to shout from the inside that dharma buddhi is the real thief i can handle the rest as agreed his father went to the jungle and hid himself in the hollow of the tree early next morning after some time accompanied by the elders of the village both dharma buddhi and papa buddhi led themselves to the huge tree where they had buried their money papa buddhi asked in a loud voice o oh spirit of the tree please tell us who the thief is as we have a confrontation and the village elders have come to seek the truth immediately papa buddhi's father replied from inside the hollow of the tree listen all who seek the truth dharma buddhi is the thief who has stolen all the money the village elders were wonder struck they could not deny that the spirit of the tree had indeed revealed the truth they immediately started discussing amongst themselves how they should punish for dharma buddhi's guilt meanwhile when dharma buddhi heard the spirit of the tree speak such he became sure that there must be something wrong the spirit of the tree if it was so is telling the untruth that is not possible having seen the hollow of the tree he put a heap of dried leaves and grass in front of the hollow of the tree and set fire to it when the fire started flaring up papa buddhi's father could not bear the heat and the smoke inside the hollow any longer he came out with burns in his body crying for pity the village elders were surprised to find him coming outside from the hollow of the tree what were you doing here and what has happened to you he at once confessed his part and explained the village elders what his son had done thus the village elders came to know of the truth and decided to punish papa buddhi for his guilt for theft to blame it on dharma buddhi and misleading the village elders They decided to hang Papa Buddhi on the very same tree and praise Dharma Buddhi for his wit. Moral: Avoid the company of the wicked or you will pay a heavy price for. Friends, do write your views about the story, the right mind and the wrong mind in the comment section. If you like this podcast, then click the like button and also share it. See you soon in the next story. Stay tuned with this series for listening to more Panchatantra stories. Take care. Bye.